pandemic, hindi pa rin tayo mapipigilan na mag-explore ng iba't ibang paraan para magkaroon ng panibagong kaalaman tungkol sa karagatan at kung paano natin ito mapapangalagaan. Samahan ninyo ako para sa mga exciting and inspiring ways to keep our oceans protected. Beautiful coral reefs. Isa yan sa pinakanamiss ko simula ng mag-quarantine. Kaya naman, yan ang ibibida natin sa Wonders of Creation. Corals are cousins of the jellyfish. They're very unique because they're one of the only creatures in the world that is all an animal, a plant, and a rock all at once. So they're an animal because they have the tentacles. And these are the ones that you see moving and most of the time awake at night. And they're filter feeders, so they're picking little items or little things that they can eat from the water that's passing by. During the day, why sunlight is important, it's because they also have, like plants, photosynthesis capabilities. They have that organism that helps them create food by absorbing light. They build their own home. That's why they're also partly a rock. The hard things that you see and where it looks like some corals look like a rock, it's actually calcium that basically it's the bones of the corals that's growing on top of each other. They're all a plant, an animal, and a rock at the same time. If you see it, it's like a forest underwater, right? It's like some are boulders, some are fans, and the average, it grows from one to two centimeters a year. Can you imagine about this small every year? And then you see how big they grow. So it takes a couple of hundred years, some of them even a million years old, depending of course on the location. What happens is to build a reef, it started out with one rock and then another rock will build on top of each other to create everything. So corals will have actually been here longer than the dinosaurs. Did you know that? <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, so they've been here for millions of years and they grow only about a few centimeters every year. So you can imagine how old they are. But overnight, they can be destroyed. A big typhoon, things that the man does, either recreationally, snorkeling, diving, can really affect. Imagine if you accidentally kick a coral, how many years did you just kick off? Accidents like storm surges just wipe out reefs or like what happened to the Great Barrier Reef. Because of global warming, in a span of a few weeks, the entire reef just turned white, lost all its animal and plant structures and just left the rock and it just got wiped out. And that, imagine millions of years compared to losing it overnight and in a few weeks. Even if they are just in the borders of the ocean, they actually provide homes for one-third of all the species in the ocean. And in these homes, they provide homes for the food. Other than feeding the other animals in the ocean, they feed half a billion people around the world, depend on the ocean for either fishing, for ecotourism, for shelter from tsunamis. And most importantly, and very exciting, recently there have been a lot of studies that most probably the cure of cancer and a lot of the heart diseases will be found on coral reefs just because there's so many organisms living inside. And these are things that we haven't even um, discovered yet. Alam nyo ba na may tatlong uri ng coral reefs? Number one, ay fringing reefs. Ito ay ang most common type ng coral reefs. Ito ay mga reef formations na nasa malapit sa shoreline ng mga isla. 
Number 2, Atoll Reefs. Ito ay ang mga ring-shaped coral reefs na bubuo ito mula sa lumubog na fringing reefs dahil sa underwater volcanic eruption at nakakagawa ng oceanic lagoon sa gitna nito. At number 3, Barrier Reefs. Ang barrier reefs ay parallel sa coastline ng isla, pero mas malayo ito sa shoreline kumpara sa fringing reefs. Nagsisilbi itong proteksyon sa mga isla mula sa malalakas na storm surge at tsunami. Kahangahanga, ba? Yan ang Wonders of Creation!